All right, we are going to get into this Kevin Samuels and you know, the video that you posted, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a good friend of mine, Chas Foley. He is a stylist to the stars. And um, again, I just want to say that I'm proud of you for doing videos and really getting yourself out, but I got to keep it 100. When I saw his video on giving advice to women, I was like, okay, we're going to have to talk about this. And when we discussed about putting this whole thing together, Kevin Samuels was part of our discussion as we were putting this together and then this happens. And so we're going to get into that as well. So Chaz Foley, thank you. Thank you for having me, Charlotte. It's so good to see you. (laughs) It's so good to be seen. I had to take a break because it just seems like the world has just gone mad. You know, right. no matter what mm-hmm. social media platform, it's just they're pushing so much negativity and negativity exactly. ends. People just love negative-ish. I had to take some mm-hmm. time to just, because I come here to yeah. help, not to hurt. So, exactly, yeah. Speaking of helping and hurting, Kevin Samuels, dead, right. okay? There's this new conversation that you and I was going to talk about because there's people who loved him, respected Mm -hmm. him, felt he was really helping. And then there's another group of people who hate and despise him. But the conversation in a lot of comments is cracking me up because they're busy judging each other. Like people who liked him are trying to judge the people who don't and telling them not to celebrate his death and vice versa. And to me, What I think is, you know, it really doesn't matter because the man is dead and gone and you can't tell people how to feel about this. If he hurt a lot of people, then those people who are hurt have every right to be like, okay, it is what it is, you know? And if they want to dance on his grave, that's their prerogative because anytime there's a villain, people cheer when the villain dies, period. Mm -hmm. Now, people who liked him, if you want to mourn, then you have the right to mourn. Nobody right. should tell you, oh, you mourning, you you supported him, you advocated for him, you wrong. Mm. So what do you, what is your take on that? I'm going to keep it 100. First and foremost, I would like to send my condolences to his family and, um, you know, this unexpected tragedy you know, and realizing and looking at the blogs and then realizing that his mother found out about her baby's passing through the internet. And that's kind of hard. So, you know, I, I, I just want to, you know, say I sympathize for her. I sympathize for all his fans. God bless. And God rest, may he rest in peace. Um, you know, this whole thing is just a tragedy. Um, Okay, let me just interject real quick. When you say, (laughs) may he rest in peace. This is something for everybody. I I always say, when I talk about celebrities, Mm -hmm. I use them as an example for us non-celebrities, okay? Because too often we get too wrapped up in other people's lives and we forget about ourselves. And it's Mm -hmm. my mission to make you not forget about yourself. If you can be passionate about this man, you can be passionate about yourself. So the mess, Mm -hmm. the the may you rest in peace. Let's be clear, okay? Let's just be clear Mm -hmm. about some things. And and this is an awareness I wanna bring to people. If you, with your free will, decide that you are going to be negative, put out negativity, Mm -hmm. crush egos, be brutally honest Mm -hmm. by hurting, not helping. If this is what you do day in and day out Mm -hmm. and death comes knocking on your door like this, Mm -hmm. are you resting in peace? Well, I mean, do you you, you really feel... Did he repent? Do you feel that? I mean, I can't go on that. I have to keep. I can't judge this man. I don't know this man. I don't know what he even. I don't even know if he considered what he did to be negative. I I think that he really felt within his heart that he was helping people when he would speak on his 
perception, you know, of, of dating and relationships and women. You know, I would hope that he thought that. I, I would hope that he thought he was doing something positive, but it okay. was received so negative. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, let me just say this. A lot of people don't know this, but one of the videos that went viral, I actually spoke to the woman. I can't say her name because she doesn't want to talk about it, but it went viral and so many people had so many things to say about this woman. When she shared her side of the story, a lot of people don't know this, but the question was, how do you rate yourself against Beyonce? Oh my God. And then she rated herself. But in the final video, that part is taken out. It's just, how Ooh. do you rate yourself? So there was an edit for that. And let's just keep it 100, okay? Right, right. There are most women who, if you ask them to rate themselves against Beyonce, let's keep They're it They're probably going to say a two or a three. They're going to, some people going to say two or three. Some people going to say six, seven. And there's some women that's going to be like, uh, you can't compare me. I'm better. OK, right. there's some women who know their worth and know that they are beautiful and they don't compare themselves yeah. to others. And then there's yeah. others who are insecure. But to me, right. when I talked to her, I was yeah. like, OK, that's entertainment. He made it about entertainment, which I yeah. get. But if you're editing things to make people look a certain way, that's not a positive. To me, you're hurting. You're not helping. And then right. he had a business. You know how many of his fans harassed this woman? She was crying. You know, wow. they're calling her business, harassing her, calling her stupid, saying she's ugly. You got to realize what you're putting her. out there. And the other thing a lot of people don't know is she came from an abusive relationship and was mm. looking for advice. And it was a lot of women that were abused. And when you right. are an abused person and you're a victim, you don't have the right. same strength. You don't have the same mind. You're kind of fragile. So right. you got to remember, if these were the women that was coming to him, tearing them down really isn't the way to help them. And then the right. comment section, people were saying, right. oh, he slayed her. Oh, shade and tea. Oh, you know, I can't wait to see the next one that he rips up. I didn't see too many people saying, wow, you know, he really right. helped her. It was, oh, yeah, right. you know, be this, right. you know. So, right. you know, we know trans TV. We know negativity is entertaining. I was so, asking, did he, did he take those into consideration? And did he pray to God and say, listen, I know I'm doing this entertainment, but I know I'm hurting some people. Please forgive me. Did he think about that? before right. death came for him. And I'm saying that to everybody else. If you're going to do the same thing and death comes knocking on your door, do people even think about their soul, their afterlife? Or do people think about the legacy that they're leaving behind uh, more so as well? And um, I don't know, I can't answer that for that man. You know, I, I hope that, um, you know, I'm sure you know, I mean, he was so at the peak of his career and probably had so many more things he wanted to do. He probably didn't think he was going to die like that. You know what I mean? That's um, my point. You know, so I guess so people got to think about the lesson. consequences. That's my and the point. lesson for all of us is to make sure that when we make our moves, we do positive things that will affect people in positive ways. You know, yeah. I, I, I would hope that, um, you know, that's what I'm doing in my life is, is right. uh, you know, impacting people in a positive way. This is crazy. This man is gone. <laughs> you know, I, I had just started like, I mean, I had just really started like following him myself. And I, I saw a video that he did maybe a week or so ago. And I was like, my God, like, how could you say a woman over 35 is leftovers? You, you, you just can't say that. I mean, people can find love any age people can find love in their 80s and 90s we've seen it before you know you, you you should never stop or give up hope on finding love and a life partner and a compatibility right and like i was saying you can find love five times six times <laughs> seven eight times especially when you it, love yourself especially when you love especially yourself especially when you love yourself and you're not afraid and then when they ain't loving you right you get out and find another one. That, that part. part. <laughs> yes. 
you know, think about it. He said 35 year leftovers. So was Halle Berry, Jennifer Lopez, and and who else? Uh uh Sierra and and who else? There's so many women that have found love. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and that's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's why I want people to really realize is that he's dead and gone. You are here alive. Take that right. lesson and don't spend your time in the comments section with this new division. People who was right. for him and people who wasn't for him now against each other. Y'all right. just want to keep rolling in the muck. Get right. out of the muck. Right. Mince yourself off. Pray for him. Or don't pray for him, but use this as an example. Like, okay, if you're going to continue in this way, right? You want to, you know, just stomp on people, and, right. and and you know, there's consequences to everything. And I don't right. think people are thinking about that. And that's what I really wanted to right. talk about. Like, really think about you. You are here. Death has not come knocking on your door. But if it does, Miss Honey, Mister Sir, right? Okay. How you make people right. feel is the difference. And on my platform, exactly. I'm brutally honest, but I don't hurt people. You know, right. I'm brutally exactly. honest. I talk about the situation or sometimes situation. We can mm -hmm. just the situation. And I like that. I like out, that. Okay? We can try mm -hmm. to figure out, okay, how do we get out of that? You know, I like to talk about our issues so that we can get over them. It's not to make you feel mm -hmm. bad, but sometimes I like to share my yeah. hindsight in order to help your foresight. And I think anytime exactly. somebody does that, to me, that's the best kind of advice. Yes, some people needed to hear some of the stuff. And I always say this too. A con artist is going to use some truth. He yeah. has to in order to so, con you. Wow, that's deep. So do you think he was a con artist? Well, I'm not going to say he's a con artist, but he knew to edit the Beyonce part out. Mm, that's deep. Why would you edit that out? Wow. If you just really want somebody to rape themselves, just say it. Why did you, why did you have to use behind the scenes of Beyonce and in front of the scenes, cut it out? So right. just that little part right there. And if that's all I know, what else do we not know? Oh, wow. You understand what I'm saying? Had I not talked to this woman and really wanted her to share her side, but she just wanted to be over because she was losing money for her business. People were calling her business, calling her all kinds of things, harassing her. Now, mm -hmm. what kind of positivity is that? Where you're right. calling somebody, harassing them at their business. How is that positive? How is that telling her the truth? How is that living in her truth? How is that making her get a man? Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. At the end of the day, we want people to feel better about themselves. Yeah. You know, so. so for me, if people dancing on this grave, it is what it is. If people are mourning, it is what it is. But you better keep it moving because you are still here and you still alive. And you ain't got no time to keep wasting because when death come a knocking, you want your soul to be right. And that's my main point today. So now really yeah. quickly, going back to your video, this is the real tea. So when I saw you do your video and you said you was led to want to talk to, uh, give advice to women on relationships. My right. thing is, why is it that so many men, gay mm -hmm. or straight, feel the need to advise women and not advise their own? Like, why not advise the men? Why not advise the LGBT community? Because it takes two to be in a relationship. But I feel right. like it's a lot of weight and a lot of responsibility getting put on the woman. You got all these experts, all these gurus, like a Kevin Samuels, giving advice to women. And they said he gave advice to some men. But what really made him popular is how he degraded women. Why is right. that? And just tell well, the truth as to why you shared in your video. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I made that video because most of my friends were females, you know. Um, and in the beginning of the video, I I said uh, I did not make this video to offend anyone. I'm not making this video speaking for women because I respect women way too much, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm 100 uh, percent real. Mm -hmm. I'm a gay man. I can't speak for a woman, a straight woman. Uh, but through the conversations of my friends, my girlfriends, mm -hmm. you know, um, some who are single, some who are now married, 
you know, uh, the point I wanted to make was don't give up on love, you mm -hmm. know, and, and speaking to a certain age group, you know, mm -hmm. of, of, of women, you know, that have been divorced, that are single parents now, you mm -hmm. know, um, raising one or two children. Don't give up. You're still a prize. Amen. Yes. Love you. you know, that's yes. the beauty of it. You know, you are still that dime. You are still greatness. You still bring a lot to the table. Mm -hmm. Hell, look at yourself as you are the table. Amen. I'm and I'm going to find love again. Okay. You know, <laughs> that part, you know, okay. you know, so that that's why I did the video. I wasn't necessarily just speaking for women. Mm -hmm. or, or two women. I was speaking to everybody. Love yourself, mm -hmm. self-love, pamper yourself, spoil yourself, you know, speak things into existence and put on your vision board, maybe the type of man you want, you know, don't settle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now and I know settling can be fun sometimes, <laughs> you know, I, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, Wait give me an example of that kind of settling. Keep, keep give me an example. In perspective. Give, you know give, what I mean? Give, Give me an example of that kind of settling. <laughs> you know, sometimes you might want to make an exception you know, just to sell a little bit for a little something, something. You know, you know, I mean, I'm just going to keep it real. But just know the difference between the settling for the moment to your life partner. And if you want a life partner, you put that energy out there and you're going to get your life partner. No jokes aside, being real serious right now. When you meet a man, demand what you want expect or it's over it's done and that was my point women you you need to uh mold these men just like they try to mold you mm -hmm. this is the contract if you want to date me for if you want to get to know me and date me this is my ex my expectations you're not going to put me on a schedule no it ain't gonna be no tuesdays and fridays it's gonna be every day if i want it you better pick up that phone when I call. <laughs> you have to demand these things. Because if you let this man put you on a schedule on a Tuesday and Friday, he's going to be dating other women the other day. Mm -hmm. A relationship is, is supposed to be wide open. What you need? I'm accessible to you. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's a real relationship. I am accessible to you. And if that man is not accessible to you from the gate, then move on. He's not the one. I know, Demand what you want. That's all. That's the point I was trying to make. And I appreciate that, I, you know, and I think it's okay for men to give, you know, women advice and women to give men advice, as long as it's coming from a positive, yes. uh, a positive place to help and not hurt. And you can right. be brutally honest. Like for me, I'm going to be brutally honest. A lot of women who settle for crap, is because they haven't loved themselves first. Exactly. Okay? The guidelines exactly. you, the guidelines you want to give that man is the guidelines you have to settle for yourself. Exactly. How do you treat yourself? Do you put yourself on a raggedy schedule? Do you treat right. yourself like you're not worthy? If you do right. that, that's what you're attracting. That's being exactly. brutally honest, but I'm not hurting anyone. Exactly. See the difference? Exactly. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. Mm -hmm. And that's that's all I really got to say. And I'm just hoping that more Amen. women seek other women who are keeping it real, keeping it brutally yes. honest, but from a sisterly, I got your back exactly. perspective. You know what I'm exactly. saying? From exactly. my auntie to my nieces, from a sister mm -hmm. to a sister, from a woman to a woman. Yes. You know, we don't always have exactly. to hear from outside. Let's be there for each other. So that exactly. was my only thing. I was like, okay, let me call Chaz. Because I was like... I'm glad you called. Because I definitely <laughs> I think... I was like, where's this not, advice coming yeah. from? You going to be another one of these? And you was like, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, no. No, it's about positive love over here. And I uplifting. That. And you and know, I, uh, under, I, that, I, under, that, uh, under that video, uh, a few people said, this is kind of giving me Kevin Samuels. And I was like, no, no, I'm uplifting you. I'm I'm definitely, you know, uplifting you and, and just want you to believe in yourself and to know that you have time. What you yeah. want, you have time. Don't let anybody put a time limit on your blessings mm -hmm. because people will try to do it. 
Yes, they so will. So they'll punch their ass. Yeah. And I love that yeah. you said you were doing it for your girlfriends because you hear their right. stories. And so you yeah. would, instead of pointing out a certain person, you just made it more of a general right. kind of advice. And that's, and that's, you know, thank you, you know, because we do need black men mm-hmm. to support black women. So we appreciate yes. you. We appreciate yeah. you. And we thank you for that because you're not saying anything wrong. You know, you just... Mm-hmm keeping it real. So I appreciate yeah. you for that. I appreciate so, you too. You have and any um, to see you. And you have any lasting um comments for the ladies or the gents? Let's just all love one another and speak positivity and just, you know, get what we want, you know. Everything is about um treating people to me is treating people like it's their last day. You know, give them their flowers, love, positive energy, encouraging one another. Yeah. You know, you get what you give. <laughs> that part. That, <laughs> that part. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank if you, you so much. If you understand what we're talking about, give us a thumbs up. Exactly. If you didn't. And if you didn't, you can give us a thumbs down. It is all good. We can agree to disagree. We are grown. We are sexy. Just keep it cute in the comment section because any hate, it will get deleted. Don't forget to subscribe and follow and follow Chaz Foley. He is an excellent stylist. I will show you some of his um, latest work in this clip and I'll leave all your links in the description as well. I want to say this. Love you so much. Thank you. I've known you for almost 20 years. I love you so much. Thank you. You are the bomb. Thank you. All right.